Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my video. I uh, just want to do a video on a an issue I had on my truck the other day. Had this no had this crank but no start issue. So basically, the truck drove fine all day. Um, there was no check engine light. Haven't had an issue with the truck in a long while. Well, relatively long while. I did get the. Um, alternator changed out I would say about six months ago but aside from that um, really didn't have any issues with the truck drove it for most of the day doing stuff here and there um, and basically went to a Burger King and uh, <coughs> and pretty much just you know got something to eat went inside got something to eat came out and couldn't get it to crank over. All right. So it would crank, but it wouldn't crank over. All right. Because I was hearing, <laughs> I'm making those noises, but um, it would crank up. It wouldn't crank over. It wasn't able to get it uh, crank over, cranked over. And I try to, you know, start up at least, at least 20 times. And basically, the first thought that came to my mind was maybe it was the battery. Now, I had the battery changed up about a month ago. Got a brand new battery, one of those value batteries from Walmart. I know a lot of people have some, some to say about it, but I, I've i had those before and they lasted me pretty good. They lasted me as long as any other battery has lasted me. But I thought maybe, maybe I had a bad one, a bad battery. So... But here's the thing. The cranks were very, very strong. It wasn't like it was a a weak crank. Now, if it was a weak crank, I would have known probably 100% it was some kind of battery issue, charging issue, etc., etc. One of those things. But regardless, I had to troubleshoot this. So I turned the, turned the lights on, my headlights, turned the headlights on. Uh, if you guys are on this issue... You guys have this problem where you're trying to figure out whether it's a battery or not. One of those things that you could do is you guys can can you know turn the headlights on and see how they how bright they are. Now it's not a hundred percent. It's not one of those things that could give you a hundred percent good, a hundred percent reading on your battery on how good your battery is. But um, it could kind of give you an estimate of where your battery is. I, I turned the lights on; they were very very bright. All right, so. I was pretty sure it was in the battery, popped the hood up, and I was looking around the area, the battery area, just to see whether there was any kind of issues with the terminals being, because um, last time I checked, last time I did the alternator, I, I, I didn't notice any kind of corrosion, anything like that, and I checked again, there wasn't any kind of corrosion, they are very, very tight. Now... Me, I want to figure out 100% what, that it's not the battery because it's probably one of those easier things that you guys can deduce. If it is the battery, you guys could, you know, I could go and get a battery, get a Uber, get a battery or whatever and pop it in. So I put, I have, um, I have a, a, a booster, a battery booster that I got from Walmart and I, I put it on just to make sure and sure enough it cranked it cranked and you know it cranked <clears throat> it cranked like before it was there was no difference it cranked like before there was no difference so at that point i ruled out the battery now if you guys didn't know you know what else to look for and you guys are going down the list okay the alternator can be ruled out because <clears throat> the the alternator can be ruled out all right, it, it the car has got to start up first. Okay, the fact that it cranks means that the alternator was charging at the battery had a good charge, etc. etc. Okay, the alternator can be ruled out, the battery can be ruled out. You guys should actually just rule out, um, you know, corrosion, uh, you know, the terminals being tight or loose. That's ruled out, and I'm, I'm looking at the negative line just to see whether. 
uh, there was any kind of corrosion on the negative line because the negative line is the main ground wire that goes to the frame. All right, you want to you want to just trace the negative uh, terminal and then trace that line to a frame because most of the time it's connected to the frame either uh, on the side where the with a side frame you know to the side of of the um, of the battery. Sometimes a lot of these times it's it's uh, under the 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 car. It depends. Uh, I believe some Nissans are under the the battery. Uh, Fords, some Fords are under the battery. But it kind of depends on your car, all right. But it, but with this truck, I traced it, and and the ground look the ground wire looked good, all right. Sometimes a, a bad ground, a weak ground, can cause this kind of issue. But most of the time, if it is a weak ground. <clears throat> that was that was causing this issue. You would actually hear a slow crank and not a strong crank. So if you guys are hearing a strong crank. Chances are, is none of those things that I mentioned. Okay, so basically, um, at that point, I could rule out the starter too. Don't know if I mentioned that, but you could rule out the starter since uh, the 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 truck was cranking. It was, you know, so you can rule out the starter completely because that's the starter cranking. All right. So basically, at that point. I'm 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 left with a couple of things. Uh, it could be more than a couple of things, but if, when you're doing troubleshooting like this, you want to just go down the list of easiest to the most difficult. Um, fuses and relays would be the next. Uh, the, you know, you know, because here's the thing about it. Okay, I I I'm, when I when I cranked it up, you know, when I was driving, when I cranked it, when I was driving, there was no check engine light. All right. As far as any of the other stuff that could be causing this, the mass airflow sensor, uh, the camshaft crank crankshaft sensors, uh, the ground position sensors, uh, every one of those things have a sensor. All right. And if one of those things are causing, uh, was causing my, my truck not to, you know, not to turn over definitely would have a check engine light uh you definitely would have the check engine light so i i i pretty much just ruled those things out i ruled those things out because there was no check engine light at all not that i remember it while i was driving so basically i ruled all those things out okay so we're left with a couple of things uh my personal thought on this is it could be uh, a, a bunch of stuff. It could be the fuel pump itself. It could be something as simple as a fuse or a a relay or, or you know any of those things. So as far as me troubleshooting this whole entire thing with a crank and a no start, a crank and a and a no turnover, I was looking. Uh, at the fuses to see whether any of them were blown, and none of the none of the fuses were blown. <clears throat> All right, but pre previous to this, what I was doing was I was turning the tr trying to turn the truck to the on position and trying to listen to see where I could hear the fuel pump priming. Okay, basically the fuel pump priming pretty much means that. Um, you know, before the car actually, before your vehicle actually cranks, all right, the, the fuel pump is turned on. It's actually shooting gas fuel, you know, to, um, to, to the engine. And a lot of times you can hear it, you know, you might be able to hear like a whizzing, a, a kind of motor sound, but a lot of times, you know, you know, you could do that by actually listening to, you know, where that gas cap is. You take a gas cap off and you have somebody try to start it, you know, try not try to start it, but turn it to on position. And you could, if you hear some kind of whizzing sound, normally that means that the, 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 the fuel pump is actually working. Now I was trying to do that inside the truck. It was very, very, very difficult. I turned everything off. The blow motor, everything off. I turn it off. Try to start it. You know, try to put it to an on position and see if I could hear the fuel pump priming. Now, I I, I had I didn't have anything. I didn't have anybody else in the truck to actually put it to turn it to the on position. 
and me just, you know, being uh, outside the car listening to seeing if I could hear some kind of, you know, whizzing sound coming, you know, from where where the gas cap area is. <coughs> so basically, um, I wasn't able to get that. I wasn't able to 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 um to listen to it. wasn't able to hear much inside the car, so wasn't able to determine whether it was fuel pump or not. But here's the thing. All right. So basically, I'm out. Uh, I'm I'm looking at all the um all the fuses. I do have one of these simple OBD twos. Um, I I do have. <coughs> One of these simple OBD2 readers that I got from Walmart for like 20 bucks. And uh, I plugged it in. Now, here's the thing about it. It could be, you know, the, the car's computer not able to connect to the car. For whatever reason, it could be a blown fuse or whatever. It could cause uh, one of these cranks but no start situation. All right. So, basically, I plugged it in. And um, it went through everything. It read through everything. It scanned through everything. Came back with you know, you know all the data. There was there was no check engine light. There was no no um, auto mon auto monitors were clear. All 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 the sensors were cleared. So I know for a fact at that point that it wasn't it wasn't um, you know any of the other things where that had a sensor in it. The, the mass airflow sensor. I already mentioned this before. If you don't get a check engine light with this situation, if you don't get a code for any of those things, like like the uh, a check engine light or a a a a code for you know a, a mass airflow sensor being out, a code for uh, the camshaft, crankshaft, any of those things, you get no codes whatsoever in this scenario. Okay, there's a there's a very, very high chance that it's none of those things. So you can actually just troubleshoot that out of the way. All right. So I was like, <clears throat> okay. I was like, okay, OBD2 reads nothing. Unplugged it. I'm good with that. Um, so basically, I got to the fuse. I got to the, the, um, the, the fuse box and pretty much found the relay for the for the fuel pump all right now <clears throat> what i did was i swapped one relay for another all right found a similar relay with the same numbers on it popped it in and guess what guys bam it actually cranked over it cranked over it ran it ran good all right, it ran with no problems, ran like before. So what I did, what I do next, obviously, if you guys are up to this point, you know, it's been figured out that it's actually, I, I, I thought it was either the fuel pump or the relay, one of those things. All right, I was hoping it wasn't the fuel pump because that would be a bigger issue, bigger fix. So since it was the relay, Guys, and in this situation, and and you guys lucked out as far as it being the relay. Um, it's a it's a pretty simple thing uh, to get. Obviously, at AutoZone, Pep Boys, AutoZone, Advanced Auto, any of these places you guys could go to. Pretty much give them the info of your vehicle. You know, sometimes the relays are actually out in the aisle somewhere with the fuses, but got the relay. Um, you know, put. Put the relay that I substituted back, popped it in, and haven't had an issue since. So there it is. That's 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 the whole entire troubleshooting as far as this uh, this this situation is concerned. Um, hope that you guys got as lucky uh, as me uh, with 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 this situation that I had. Uh, it could have been um, you know something else that was probably a bit more problematic or more. Uh, more to work on as far as getting you know the truck started but got the truck started we're all good on that if you guys in this situation checked out check out the relay uh it, okay this is a crank but won't turn over no start issue all right if you guys have any comments please leave your comments in this uh, comment section please subscribe please give me a thumbs up really do appreciate it 
Uh, you guys are awesome. All right, take care.